Funny, Skipper. Nothing biting tonight. Ahoy there! That you, Spud? Yeah. Hi, Collins. How's the lighthouse business? On the rocks. How's the fishing? No good. I got that tobacco for you. Watch it now. Thanks, Spud. Okay. CG254 calling base 37. 37. Have they said anything? No, but keep your eyes open. Well, what do you think I'm doing? Talking in my sleep? Careful, Wilson. This is Lieutenant Hayes speaking. Oh, excuse me, sir. Uh, I thought I was talking to that other mug. Uh, I mean, uh, radio operator Jones. How do you like that? Meet on the table. Hey, Skipper. Thanks, Skipper. I'll have it for breakfast. No, you won't. That's mine. All right, I'll listen. I'll listen. CG 279 calling 254. 279 calling 254. 254 answering. Go ahead, 279. A speedboat just got past us in the fog and headed your way. Think it's what we're after. Okay, 279. Tell your grease monkeys in the engine room that we're not trolling now to be on their toes. Don't worry about my department. Anymore, Chief? Neither can I. Half speed. Half speed. Head for the breakwater light. CG254 calling base 37. Base 37, go ahead, 254. Just fired on smuggler's boat. Got away and headed out to sea. Got away, huh? Don't you fellows ever catch anything? Yeah. Fish. You know, if we had any motors in this tub, they wouldn't get away from us. You mean if you guys could shoot a machine gun? <laughs> yeah, put this in your beak, you pelican. <laughs> That's your part of the deal. Yes, right. Mine is to handle the goods after they reach my store. Oh. Wait a minute. Did you come down here on your own boat? Yes, why? I'll show you how to get that load in. Say, if you think I'm going to run Wait a minute. Up. Don't get excited. You've got nothing to worry about. Just get the right idea, the lady 
church, sir. I want you to meet a friend of mine. Okay. Mr. Gordon, little lady I was telling you about. Shake hands with Toots Riley. How do you do, Miss Riley? Why, it's a pleasure. Mr. Grant has spoken of you many times. Oh, I hope it's all to the good. Oh, yeah. shave you head with the Coast Guard? Why, sure. Well, I guess he wants us to go back for a haircut. How do you like my new boat, Toots? Gee, it's a honey, Mr. Gordon. Sure beats riding home in a water taxi. Say, you know me well enough to call me Max. I know you well enough not to. Say, what's the matter? There's something wrong with the motor. I've never had this happen before. I have. Come on, Mr. Gordon. Quit stalling and let's be on our way. See, I'm not stalling. It really won't run. Well, fix it. I don't know how. But I can send up a rocket. Now, isn't that just dandy? I want to go home and you want to shoot off fireworks. There it is. All right. Say, did you see that? Sure, I seen it. Distress signal dead ahead, Chief. Now, take it easy. The Coast Guard has a chance to reach me. Isn't that a small boat? Yoo-hoo! Ship ahoy! That's what you're supposed to say, isn't it? On board speedboat. On board speedboat. United States Coast Guard. What's the trouble? We've broken down. Still look broken down to me. We're coming alongside. Are you cold? A little. Here, Spud, uh, let me take your coat a minute, will you? You don't need it. There you are. Here, uh, put this around your shoulder. Thanks. Don't mention it. Uh, Spud, uh, get another cup of coffee. Okay. I'll have to ask you a few routine questions. That's all right with me, Admiral. Shoot. Chief Boston's made to you. Where were you going when the motor stalled? I was coming home from the gambling ship with Mr. Gordon. Your husband? I should say not. He's a customer. I work in the floor show on the ship. Oh, uh, a hoofer, huh? No, a hipper. Uh, a what? A hipper. Hey, I like that. Most men do. Oh, uh, thanks, bud. What's your name? Clark Riley, but my friends call me Toots. Where do you live, Toots? Friends already, huh? Uh, your address? Seaside Apartments, room 113. Say, what is this, a double entry system? Well, that's just so he can't double cross me. Hi, right, boss. Well, we got that load through, all right. What did I tell you about keeping that gun of yours quiet? Take a look at that. Well, I had to bump him off. Well, did you have to leave the body where the cops would find it? You think it was tough to get by the Coast Guard before? What's it going to be now? Quarter of a million dollars worth of first down on a hole and more coming in and you pull a bonehead trick like that. Shut that off. The news will be on in a minute. I thought you might want to hear it. Give me this pancake if you hadn't double-crossed me last night. Besides, maybe you're the guy that's running away with my socks. Well, come on. 
Come on, come on, where are my pancakes? <laughs> Up there. <laughs> and now we bring you the highlights of the latest news. What's the idea? Coast Guard outwitted again. Smugglers last night slipped past the Coast Guard boats and landed another load of contraband. This time at the lighthouse on the end of the jetty, where they fatally wounded Sam Collins, the lighthouse keeper. Did you hear that? They shot Collins. Shh, shh. Regaining consciousness before he died this morning, Collins was unable to give any description of his assailants. Washington. Say, I'd like to get my hands on those guys. Only last night I was talking to Collins. It's gonna be pretty tough on his kid. Yeah, you shall have to quit that boarding school now. Hey, why couldn't you come here and stay with us? Oh, you're nuts. We don't make enough money. What's the matter with you men? Are you all asleep? These fellows are making monkeys of us. You read the papers. It is evident the Coast Guard is unable to cope with the situation. Now, isn't that a fine thing for the public to read? Investigator McGrath here has been assigned to the case. Do everything you can to help him. That gang must be broken up. Search every craft under the harbor of any suspicious ship. Yes, card, sir? Yes, card. Yes, sir. You must either have a card or you must be accompanied by a friend who has. But I'm a stranger in town. Sorry, sir. Those are orders. She has a swell way to treat a visitor. Come along, Helen. Thanks. Good evening. Well, hello, Helen. This is a surprise. I haven't seen you in ages. How have you been? Why haven't you phoned me? Hi, I, I know you've been awfully busy. Let's have lunch together soon. I'll give you a ring. Good night. Uh, good night. Oh, Helen. Who was he? Why, I don't know. Don't lie to me, Helen. Wilbur Crane, don't you dare talk to me that way. I'm going home. Good evening. Table, sir? No. Uh, what's the number? It's Ronnie's dressing room. Guests aren't permitted in dressing room, sir. It's against the rules. <laughs> you have rules here. You ever break them? No, sir. Hi, Tut. I've been waiting to see you. How'd you get in here? Oh, I come on the rope up and climb up the anchor chain. Oh, sneaking around, huh? A fine double crosser you are, a fine pal. Oh, I. Hey, wait a minute. How'd you get here? Oh, me, me, well, well, I, 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 I... Oh, so my idea was no good, huh? Trying to get me out of my commission. Well, I ain't the only double-crosser, you double-crosser. Shh, shh, Is that work to do? You got a pencil? Yeah, sure. What's the angle? Here, take this envelope. When I question Toots, you write down the answers. What for? For evidence. Now, hang on to this, bud. Come on. Get in this closet where Toots can't see you. No, sir. I ain't getting there. No closet. Uh, get in there, will you, Spud? Hurry up, will you? Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Hey, I can't like you. Here's too dark. All right, lame brain. Here. Here's some matches. Well, that's different. Hey. Just saw a guy sneaking number seven and hiding the closet. That's all? Yeah. I think he's a crook. Tony, Jack, Pete. Looking for your bathing suit? Oh, you see, I... He says he hasn't time to change. Oh, uh, I know who I told you, but I was a dirty double crosser. Well, I'll get him for him. He can't do this for me. They can't get away with that. Hi, Toots. Well, if it isn't the old sea scout himself, I'll have to give 
the nightlife world? Nope, I'm here on business. Did you ever hear of mixing water and gasoline? What is it, a new drink? I stole the wisecracks. Do you know why Gordon's motorboat broke down the other night? I had my suspicions, but he never even tried to put his arm around me. Mm, nice man. Nice girl. Then you didn't know that there was water in the gasoline tank. Say, what are you driving at? Well, forget it. I guess I'm climbing up the wrong mat. Well, you better do your climbing somewhere else. I gotta get ready for my next number. Can I help you? Now, that's an idea. You can blow up my costume. Oh, so. You do one of these kind of dances, huh? What'd you do if this broke? I'd run, not walk, to the nearest exit. I bet this little trick you never tried with this thing. for you, you're sick. I was gonna give you the beating of your life. You're a softy, you are. Five minutes in the water and you catch cold. Oh, Spud, don't, will you? I, I feel awful. <laughs> I hope you blow your head off. If only all your girls could see you now. I say, I was to meet Blondie here last night. Did you see her? Uh, for a minute. You wouldn't pull anything funny, would you? Well, of course not, Spud. She's your girl. Besides, I was too sick. <laughs> you think I'm pretty dumb, don't you? Yeah. Huh? Uh, no, 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 Spud. Uh, she was only here for a minute. You can take my word for it. Yeah, well, this time I don't have to. You were sitting on that boy all night, weren't you? Oh, uh, sure. Sure I was. <laughs> but this wasn't. <laughs> What's that? A microphone. I got to fix it up to a home recording machine that makes records. Oh, going to set traps for me, huh? Yeah. Just in case I wasn't here when Blondie came. Well, it won't do you no good because I never turned this thing on. Oh, yes, you did, but you didn't know it. I had to fix the start when you turned this light out. 
What's the matter, pal? You don't look so good. I feel awful sick. Help me into the bedroom. If there's anything on this record, I'll carry you in pieces. <laughs> now we'll see what we got. <coughs> Why did you turn out the light, Jimmy? It hurts my eyes. My, what soft hands you have. You know, I kind of like you. Oh, Jimmy. <laughs> I'll bet you tell that to all the girls. Say, girls don't interest me. But you're different. Tell me, what has a pretty girl like you seen a big lug like... <laughs> What's that? Shut up! Oh. I don't want to miss anything. You look beautiful with the moonlight on your hair. And how your eyes... Marco, just like stars. All my life I've been with someone like you. I'm a... You know what? What else did you say, you sulfur snake? Oh, well, well, look, Spud, uh, uh, Come back here. I'm gonna see you get what's coming to you. Yes. Cold or no cold, I'm <laughs> the rest of my life. Spud, it's all in fun. You're not kidding me. I ain't falling for any of your tricks. Hey, hey, hey. Would you mind stepping around here where he can see you? A uh, pretty girl, huh? Why do you pick ah. up a new one once in a while? Ah. I was just showing Jim what happened in a fight I saw the other night. Thanks, lady. Uh, whatever you're selling, I'll buy some. What's so Jim? Don't you remember me? I'm Patricia Collins. Pass. Well, you certainly fooled me. Where's your pigtail? Oh, I'm a big girl now. I'll say you are. You're much too big to be kissing him. Uncle Bud! Uh, and she's too big to be kissing you, too. Well, Pat, come on in the house. Spider, I'll bring the suitcase. Certainly. Oh, and then I got Uncle Spud's telegram asking me to come here. So I packed my things and here I am. Well, that's swell. Spud and I talked it over and decided this is just where you belong. Oh, uh, allow me. Now, you take our bedroom, uh, Sugar. One, please. And Spud and I will bunk on the sun porch. Oh, I couldn't do that. I'll take the sun porch. Now, listen, young lady. You remember what I used to do to you when you wouldn't mind me? Well, you can't do that. She's a big girl now. He won't have to, Spud. Bedroom it is. You want to know something? You're both swell. And as soon as I find a job, I'm going to pay my share. Oh, no, you don't. Your father meant a lot to us. We've got a right to take care of you if we want to. Yeah, besides, what could a little girl like you do? What can I do? Well, you both sit down, and I'll show you. I'm in love with you. You're in love with me. So, baby, long and sing by the way. Just between you. First I fell for you, then you fell for me. Baby, it just happened that way. Just between you and me, what do you say? You put me to the left of a down to be. I ask for nothing better. To you, you will be true to me, baby. It's our luckiest day. Just between you and me, what do you say? Hey, that's swell. What kind of a school did you go to? That's all right. I'll say it is. Come in. What's the idea of leaving me standing on a street corner for two hours? On a street corner. Yes, the street corner. You made a date with me, didn't you? A date? Did you phone Toots and use my name? I wouldn't use your name or nothing but a tombstone. You made a date with her, and I'll keep it. Well, uh, I've got to stay in entertain Pat. Sounded to me like she was entertaining you. Doing very well, too. Oh, uh, Toots, uh, this is Patricia Collins. Uh, this is Miss Toots Riley. How do you do? I'm afraid it's my fault Uncle Jim kept you waiting. You see, um, I'm sort of an adopted daughter of theirs, and I just arrived in town today. Adopted daughter, huh? 
We're sort of relatives. I'm your grandmother. Well, are you coming or aren't you? Well, well sure uh, he is. Uh, uh, Don't worry about Pat. I'll entertain her. You just run along with Grandma and have a nice time. Uh, come on, Granny. Goodbye. Goodbye. So long, pal. <laughs> Let's finish the dream we started last night. I held you so close to me last night you were mine. Let's finish the key. Ran to my office and she finished it. on your mind. Mrs. Phillips wants that chinchilla wrap she ordered. If I don't have it for her in the morning, she'll buy one somewhere else. She'll have it. Oh, well, bring up a chinchilla cake. Okay. Well, how are you going to get past the customs officers? There's a lot of them around the docks. How are you going to do it? I don't know. Yet.
Hey, look, it's 12 o'clock. She's got no right to be out at this hour. Well, maybe she's out for a guy. If she is, I'll break his neck. Who is he? Who? The guy. How should I know? Well, you're supposed to look out for her. No more than you are. We're not doing a very good job. All right, let's call the police. Here she comes. Where have you been? You shouldn't be out so late. Jim and I have been worried. Well, I'm sorry, but I have good news for you. Toots got me a ding on the fortune. A, a job? At $75 a week. $75 a week? But that's a gambling ship. No place for a nice girl like you. You wait till I see Toots. I'll tell her where Shut to go. Shut up, stupid. Is that Toot part of the job? Why, of course not, Jim. Mr. Durant, the owner of the fortune, asked me to deliver it to this address when I came ashore. I only stopped by here because it was so late. Give me that. Is your name Durant? Yes. Is this yours? Why, as, uh, as a matter of fact, it is, yes. You gave it to Miss Collins just to get her up here, didn't you? Well, what if I did? Just this. Don't be cross with me, Jim. I'm not cross. I was just... About me getting a job? I'm afraid you haven't got a job, Pat. I haven't got a job? I don't understand. Well, I, I had a little talk with Durant. He didn't part the best of friends. You mean you smacked him in the kisser? Oh, would you pipe down? Oh, Jim, it was such a wonderful opportunity for me to help out here. Help out? You mean give us money, too? Well, I won't take it. You're doing more than your share already. I won't let you go to work. Well, it ain't right. Well, just today, Jim was saying that... Will you stop spouting? Okay. Come on, Skipper. We're gonna take a walk. Beautiful, isn't it? You're gonna get cold out here. Jim, something's troubling you. What is it? I only realized today how much you mean to spud to me. You're going to leave it soon. No, 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 Jim, I won't. I love it here. I need you, both of you. You're wrong, Pat. You can earn as much as Spud and I can put together. You proved that tonight. You don't need us. But I do. You don't understand. Let's forget it, Pat. Good night. But, Jim, please. Oh, Pat. You look beautiful with the moonlight in your hair. And how your eyes sparkle. Just like the stars. Nice going, Chief. You don't understand. Oh, I understand plenty. I love Pat. Sure. You love Pat and Maisie and Florence and Blondie and all the rest of them. You don't know what you're saying, Spud. He hasn't even changed his speech since the last time I heard it. Come in here if you don't believe me. Give me that record. You keep away from me. I know what Give I Give me that record. Yeah. Oh, Blondie. You look beautiful with the moonlight on your hair. And how your eyes sparkle. Just like stars. All my life I've dreamed of someone like you. Pat, I'm... Oh, Jimmy. You say the sweetest things. Well, I mean them, too. You ask for it. to know what I'm doing without your help. And I'm old enough to know when I've made a mistake. I don't want to ever see either one of you again. This house isn't big enough for the two of us anymore.
grapple with that big red apple that Adam the public can hold by moonlight and stars above all. A fellow pack all his heart is all. Ever since Adam said, boys meet the madam. Ever since Adam and Eve. Say, did you know there was a Coast Guard boat alongside of us? Yes. Uh, here's a list of the fellas the girls are going to mount up. Put them in that dressing room. As a matter of fact, they're here at my request. Your request? My request. Protection against hijackers. You see, they happen to be the same fellows that uh, guarded your empty packing cases on the way out. Get it? Got it. Hi, babe. Hi. Toots. Is it really you? By golly, it is all right. Why don't you try remembering faces? Oh, I like figures better. You know, if I could forget what I know, I'd feel like sweet 16. Oh, still carrying the torch for Jim, huh? Let's skip it. Say, you know, if I loved a guy that much, I'd go after him. You wouldn't if you'd heard that record. He even used the same words. Sure he did. That's his line. Every guy has a line. He tries to pedal a tan, he'd be able to listen to him. But I'll bet my bubble, Jim meant every word he said to you. But he's had so many girls. Oh, listen, honey. When you go to get ahead of lettuce, you don't take the first one you see, do you? No. You feel around and you pick out the best one. You ought to be flattered, not sad. I could never be happy with Jim while he and Spud feel the way they do. The fact that I had broken up their friendship would always stand between us. Well, now there must be an answer to that somewhere. I'll see if I can get an idea. Ripping off these lids is sure tough on my manicure. I'll take it. It's better than dodging Coast Guard bullets in an open boat. Makes sense, will you? What's that got to do with carting around a lot of empty crates? They ain't gonna be empty long, stupid. All those furs in there has got to go back to town in them crates. I get it. They were supposed to come over for the fashion show on the empties. Sure, you catch on quick. Hey, talk to the keys, will you? They're already upstairs. It's over. That's a guy who's tough as a dick. What croaked him? Same stuff that killed the Moors. A guy couldn't live 30 minutes in there with the door closed. <coughs> he must have been sneaking around and got locked in, huh? <coughs> Poor guy. <coughs> Put him in the pay locker. Hey! Hey, what's the idea? Hi, Toots. Bud, what are you doing here? I'm guiding them first. How's Pat? Eating her heart out. Say, Bud, you love Pat, don't you? Of course I do. Well, then, this is gonna hurt, but Jim's her man. Yeah. I guess so. And if you're the right kind of a guy, you want to keep her happy. And something tells me you're that kind of a guy. Yeah, but what can I do? Well, you can make up with Jim and come back in and tell Pat. Her room is right next to mine. You honestly think that would fix things up? Well, I'm pretty sure it will. Okay, Tuts, I'll do it. Bud, you're a darling. <laughs> Gee, I've been missing something. Well, that isn't my fault. Okay, Tuts. <laughs> okay, Bud. Well, hello, Skipper. Hey, Jim. It's been kind of lonesome at the house with me and Skipper, and we was thinking that... You mean Skipper was thinking? You don't know how. Oh, now, wait a minute, Jim. I want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. Okay.
gave me an awful scare. What are you hiding for? Don't! Sounded like it came from the paint locker. Yeah. <laughs> Come on out. Anybody in there? Wish we could throw that body overboard right now. He makes me nervous. <coughs> Gee, buddy, I, I thought you were going to say something then. What's the matter? You sick? Sneak up and see the floor shop. Yeah. Yeah. You see, I ain't. Put him in a storeroom. Say this fell out of one of the coach? Yeah, this one here. That guy was a copper. Let's put him in all of them. Quick, get him out of all the coats the girls are using in the first number. Too late. Show's on. I said get him. Chief, I looked every place for him. I know where he is. Sister, you enchant me. Oh, yeah, she just enchanted me, too.
She must be in there. Well, hello there. So we meet again, eh? Can I be of any assistance to you? I'm looking for one of my men. You surely won't find him back here. He's on board somewhere, and I'm going to find him. If that's the way you feel about it, go right ahead. Uh, I'll send this gentleman along to help you. Thanks. I'll get all the help I need from my own men. Well, you'd better take him anyway. You know, you might get lost. Let you know. Thanks. And so Tell her to bring that Collins girl down here. Put that Coast Guard guy in the slip in the speedboat. Hurry up. Base 37 answering. Go ahead, 254. Bringing in badly injured man from the gambling ship. Have ambulance meet us at the dock. That's all. Better make it a hearse, Chief. Thank you. 